what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're talking about scream 6 in this video here again today so the scream 6 trailer has dropped and it was like 2 minutes and 25 seconds i believe and let me just tell you the 2 minutes and 25 seconds are not wasted they do not show anything i would say is too overly spoilery in the sense that after watching that first trailer if you are somebody who tells me you know who the killer is you know what the motive is you know the the how why and how we're going to get there you're lying you just don't you you would have to rewatch it multiple times and pieced it together in some fashion which i would say by watching this just one time you were not going to be able to do that the trailer was very intense the trailer was very action-packed they do not waste any time right out of the gate the trailer opens up with sam and tara running into the bodega so they do a great job at using that bodega scene to use it to make up a lot of the runtime that this trailer has we get to see how ghostface actually gets the shotgun just like how everybody was trying to talk to a lot of the people that were outraged about the use of the shotgun ghostface does not wander into the shop with the shotgun ghostface is wandering in with the traditional buck knife one of the shop owners has a gun tries to take out ghostface ghostface ends up taking them out and takes the shotgun kills them and then starts taunting or stalking tara and sam with the said shotgun so the ghostface does not just walk in with this shotgun that sequence alone might be one of the most suspenseful moments in the movie uh that'll have you on the edge just waiting to see if ghostface is going to land any any shot on these girls which we clearly can i guess assume will not occur just like going off of the trailer alone we got to see kirby we got to see jack champion's character we got to see liana liberato's character we finally got to see devin nakoda uh and i will say this devin nakoda and jasmine savoy brown's character of mindy they seem to be the ones primarily tripped up in this bathroom sequence so i i will say that i believe the bathroom sequence is going to be where we will end up losing devin nakoda's character something does seem to be going on with those two so maybe they are indeed dating in the movie in the trailer what we see is a ladder being bridged between one apartment complex to another i think and what is happening is we see mindy going across the ladder i want to say devin will try to go across the ladder and she's just unfortunately not going to make it but mindy will which would explain why mindy looks so distraught in the first teaser that was dropped if she has lost devin who i'm assuming will be her girlfriend going into scream six and that she unfortunately did not make it out of this bathroom sequence alive unfortunately i'm a, i'm also certain that going off of the blood that we see that will be our olivia morris moment of the movie there was one particular death i think the trailer did spoil but it's like who who cares it, it was of one of the one of the major cast members that we know is from the spider-man series with uh tom holland spider-man movies tony tony river Lori's character i think his name is gabe it looks like they they showed that he's going to be found dead in the bathtub mindy seems to find him dead in the bathtub in the trailer which is fine there's nothing overly spoilery that can tell you who the killers are that can tell you what the motive is that tells you how many there are if anything i tell i would say that this trailer does a great job of making it seem like there's only one killer in this movie which we know can't be the case this trailer does such a great job at just hyping up the aged mask and making the person behind the aged mask something to really fear and be concerned about and making them see seem so legit because there's commentary in the trailer about this is this person is not like the other ghost faces well they clearly aren't one this person has a layer we get to see said layer in the trailer and it's filled with all of these easter eggs related to the past movies i think i saw tatum's clothing something probably probably in reference to roman uh we see all of the ghost face costumes lined up on stage in a what looks like as gail pointed out a shrine so this that elevator sequence where we saw not elevator but the sequence where we saw gail going down into a location it seems like the entire crew is with her so this is going to be a very fun sequence to see when when we get to see the trailer uh or when we get to see the movie i meant to say so i was very satisfied with this trailer i thought it was very action-packed i thought it was very intense i thought it was very suspenseful and they did the one thing i hoped that they would do not showing kirby because we saw brief moments of kirby and get to see that she's interacting with the characters and they all come together and recognizing that they share something in common which is trauma from ghostface experiences but we finally saw gail weathers get a phone call and she does use that bit of dialogue that we knew she was going to use 
and she's like you know you're like the 10th person to try this right and then ghostface is like well i'm not like those other ones there's never been one like me before and then while she's on the phone it seems that gail is distracted on the phone with ghostface of course and but from behind there seems to be a man walking up to her which i can only assume is her boyfriend and her boyfriend ends up getting snatched up and it seems like ghostface is taking out her boyfriend so it's nice to see that gail weathers actually has a boyfriend in new york she's trying to move on from dewey um not to say that she's completely over dewey but the best way to of course move on from something like that would be to not cut yourself off entirely from dating and let anybody who's expressing interest in you have an opportunity if you think that they are worth giving an opportunity to so it seems like gail weathers is going to lose another boyfriend gail weathers has a chase scene a brief glimpse of her chase scene shown in the trailer where we see Ghostface chase her into a room and they're still on the phone and she's still talking so much shit talking about she's gonna shoot this dude in the head now I don't know why she's shooting at a closed door uh, not to say that you can't be effective there but I, I'm just saying I, I I don't think I would do that I, I, I think I would want to see him before I start shooting and, and not waste bullets because what if when he opens the door your guns jammed or something it's not looking good for Gail, not in that sequence, because she she's locked herself in this room, and I can only imagine what's going to happen when Ghostface busts down that door. That's probably going to be one of the most emotionally um, emotionally gut riching moments for diehard fans like myself. If because if we lose another legacy character, that's going that's going to hit hard. That's going to hit hard, and that's probably why they're just going to play with us, and we won't lose Gail. But they're doing a great job at hyping it up and making us question, are they going to kill another legacy character? I like how they showed the use of Gail in this trailer. Got to see a brief glimpse of her chase scene. Got to hear her talk shit to Ghostface. Um, there was no Sydney reference or anything like that, but I'm sure that'll be present in the actual movie itself. There was nothing in it to confirm that Nev Campbell will have a cameo. Uh, so I, I, I'm still going to say it doesn't seem like she's in this movie at all whatsoever. So unfortunately yes she won't be back now as pertains to that layer again that layer definitely has final act potential that layer that shrine location that has the potential to be where we see this final act occur in the movie this time and i hope that's where it occurs that that place was filled with so many references to past movies we see that this person has stolen so much evidence it seems um now why some of this evidence if that is indeed evidence why some of it seems to be so cleaned up i don't know why it would be so cleaned up uh, Tatum's clothing specifically seem to be very clean not that it should be dirty but it just seemed too clean almost as if this person did actually get some replica items from somewhere and not all of this <laughs> is just evidence because the only thing that seemed to be true evidence in that room to me were the ghost face costumes that were hanging up on this stage that the layer is located in so i cannot wait to see what you guys think about the trailer down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video